guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here again with Lucy. You guys requested her more of Lucy, and so we're back. This is not really a postpartum workout, it's more just like a regular hit workout. It's really hit, <laughs> really high intensity. And I love them because they're quick and they're not easy, but they are easy in the sense that you can do them anywhere with no equipment necessary. So Lucy's gonna take yeah. us through this workout, which- So we've just done two rounds, doing. and it is definitely, this one is a lot harder. Yeah. Look, we've upped the game, and I'll give you alternatives if you don't wanna do the high impact. I'll show you a lower intensity. Actually, that's a good idea that's when we're good. doing this, yeah. so that means everyone can join in. Yeah. But do make sure you do a warm up first. We're gonna do each move for a minute. I'm gonna have my little timer, so, if when Anna's exercising, you're thinking, looking at her, checking out her Instagram, I'm not, I'm doing the timer on here because it keeps cussing out. I'm so, I'm gonna drink some water, I forgot. 10 seconds of really high knees and then touch down on the ground. All right, but if you want to do a lower impact, you could just simply do 10 marches and then do a squat. So, are we ready? Yes. Let's go three, two, one. So, we're doing 10 seconds high knees. So, this part here is the cardio, and then we're going to do quick changes with short little moves. So, when we hit 10 seconds, which is right now, we'll touch the ground and then straight back up to high knees. So, if you want to work harder, follow Anna. If you're perhaps a beginner, then you could literally be doing what I'm doing and just do marching. Now, we touch down and come back up. That's good. So, you're doing this for one minute. So here we're increasing your metabolism, toning up all over, and let's touch down the ground. That's good, keeping that going. So you choose. So you could literally be marching that out, or we've got three, two, one, touch down, touch your ground. That's good. And the great thing is you can do this at home, you don't need trainers, but it's a good idea if you do it on a carpet, if you're doing it on a wooden floor, then do use trainers. Touch down, that's good. Last 10 seconds, taking that up. So again, you could be marching, and instead of touching the ground, you can just take it to a tiny squat. All right, that's your first minute done. Second one, we're gonna do plie, um, deep plies. We'll do these for 10 counts, so if you count, yeah. then on the 10th one, I'm just gonna show you, we do a double jump, but I'll show you if you wanna follow a lighter one, follow me, that's good. So what number are we on here? 10. So if you're on 10, just stay there and do a pulsing one. You don't have to do the jump. And you're doing this for a duration of one minute. So the benefit with this, let's think about where we're working. We're working the inner thighs, we're working the outer thighs. We're also working cardiovascular. We're adding that jump, so we're getting the heart rate up. So these are what we call multi-compound moves. And you just have 20 seconds left. That's good, how's that feel? Yeah, yeah. all right, and well done. So after your 10, you do that double jump. So again, if you don't want to do the high jump, just stick with just doing pulses on there. Let's go last five seconds, take it four, go three, two, and one. So our next move, we're gonna do a lunge pull down. So we take the arms up and just lunge it back. So this one here is low impact, but it's what we call high intensity. So you can still do the high, isn't it? Totally. So the benefit here, we are working every single muscle group, a lot of people do lunges forwards and that's where they find it uncomfortable on their knees. So what I prefer is if you take the lunge back, then it looks after me. It's much, a much better way of doing lunges. And by adding the arms in, you've got 35 seconds to go. We're just increasing that heart rate. We're also toning through the arms. So again, even if you're a beginner, you can do this. And perhaps if you don't want to start with the arms, just start with doing lower body. That's good. Let's go another 10 seconds on there from now, doing really well. Can you feel that? Yeah. Yep, and let's go five, take it four, go three, two, and one. So the next move now, we're gonna do a net ball jump. So we are gonna get ready to take a side step this way, then with a jump. Let's go three, two, and one. So side step and jump, and side step and jump. So again, if you're a beginner, just follow what I'm doing. So you can see, you don't have to do the jump and you're doing that for a duration of 60 seconds. So reaching that across. So we're doing here what we call a lateral move. So you're working the inner and outside of the thighs. We're also doing a plyometric move, which is the jump. So we're doing calorie burning. We're toning up. We're doing actually, what's really important is getting you fit and looking after your heart. That's the most important muscle of all. All right, and let's just reach that up and reaching that across. And you know, you might want to do 30 seconds where you're doing 
it without the jump, and then 30 seconds where you then finish off with the jump. Am I not going to do that or not? I'm not going to do that too. No, you've got to do the hard stuff. That's I'm doing the easy one. I'm mean in mine. And let's go four, let's take it three, and go two, and last one. Okay, skaters lunge. So again, for a minute. So let's get ready. Three, two, one. So we take it across. So just imagine you are speed skating or ice skating. And this one here is, were well, you were saying it's your, one of your oh, favourite moves. Yeah. I thought you meant burpees were your favourite moves. Oh, That's why God. I added that in the next one. <laughs> she wasn't going to add in burpees and then I said I hated them and she put them in. <laughs> so mean. But I did kind of make them a little bit prettier yeah, by are. adding a slightly different move to it. But this one here, is a really good for a gain. You're working every single muscle. And as we take your arm over, is where we really then create that nice shape through the waist. All right, that's good. So this one, again, if you're a beginner, you don't have to step out as far. You can just make it a slightly smaller move. And let's just get ready for the last 10 seconds from now. That's good. All right, and we're gonna go five, take it four, go three two and one so this one okay we're gonna start like this all right let's go three two one jump it down then come up and this is a bit where I am kind because we added in a waist move and then straight back down so we're gonna keep that going so I'm gonna show you if you're a beginner then do a little step back then join in and do the twist so if you don't want to do the jump you can do that that's good I feel a bit mean that I'm not doing the jump. I'm looking you do that, so I'm gonna join in. All right, that's good. And we've just got 30 seconds to go. And this part of the move is then really good for working the waist. All right, we've got the last 20 seconds. I remember when stuff is challenging us is then when it's changing us. So that's what we wanna be doing. Keeping that going. We've got the last 15 seconds on there. We're nearly done. Keep that focus. Also, when you're doing that twist, make sure you keep the hips facing forwards. They don't move, it's just the upper body, and we are done on that one block. Oh, why should I do that one? <laughs> okay, so this one is the last one, which is a tough one. We're gonna do 20 seconds doing a waist twist, so we will start now with that. Okay, so with this, the further back you lean, I'll just show you from here, the harder that is on the abs. Make sure you don't feel anything in your back. Do keep those tummy muscles tight. So this is all now about shaping into the waist. Then we're gonna add a new move, which is a really tough one, which we're gonna do for 20 seconds as well. I'm gonna come into position. So we come up like this, and we're just gonna take hand opposite hand to knee. So the benefit here with this, we're still working through the abs, but you're also working through your arms coordination, you're working the core, but this one is really tight. So if you find it too hard, just slightly bring that foot off the floor, nearly done, and let's go two, and then one, let's bring it straight back down, seated ab twist. And again, with this one, the further back you lean, the more you feel that in your abs, but you must keep your tummy tight. And this is all about getting those nice curves. This is why we don't wanna be doing plank. This sort of exercise is amazing to give that lovely curvy shape. And the good news is we are done. Oh, high five. Yes. Done. There I'm we go. sweating. So there we are. How good is that? So that's Thank definitely you. back to what you were kind of doing is before. It? Okay. Yes. Cool. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. So that is the current workout for you guys for free. See what she does for free. like, I mean, she's just <laughs> incredible, but everybody knows she's incredible. So go check out Lucy's channel for more seven minute workouts that anybody can do and um, subscribe to her channel. And we will talk to you in our next one. Yeah, bye. bye.